So I'm going to show you how to create a link that can then be turned into a QR code to share a document. So the first thing you'll see here, I've gone into my Dropbox account. Uh, you could use other file sharing mechanisms. I guess I use Dropbox. And so I've gone into my Dropbox account and I've already uploaded the file that I want to share with a QR code. So in this case, I'm going to share this file here, this PDF file, Note 9, April 2020. So that's the file I want to share. So I then click on the three dots at the end here and click on the share button, which brings up this dialog box. You can ignore all of the top half of this box. You just need to click on the create link. So it tells me it's creating a link and then it's, um, it's created. If I then hit copy link, it shows me the link, quite a long complex one, but you don't need to worry about this because that has been copied into your um, clipboard. So we've got the, the link is created, it's now saved in our uh, clipboard, so I can close that dialog box down. So I now need to switch to the website that I'm going to use to create the QR code. So I'm using one here, a free website, qrcodegenerator.com. Um, so this is the main screen when you go in. There are various different types of QR codes you can create. I always just use this one. I think the others you have to subscribe to pay for them, but I just use this one, which is the default. And here you can see it's, it's saying enter your website, but that means any URL. So if I then just edit paste with whatever method you choose. So if I paste there, that's pasted that link in there. It's trying to sell me something here, so I'll get rid of that. Um, and it's already created the QR code, as you can see in this corner here. And what I now need to do is download a copy of that JPEG file. So if I hit download, it'll take a few seconds. It's again trying to sell me uh, its services. I think if you've paid for this, it will happen quicker. But it's telling me my QR code is being generated. And then what happens on the Mac, and I guess it's similar on a PC, is um, it downloads it to the preview so it's gone into my downloads folder as a graphic file. In this case, it's a, it's a PNG. Um, I'm not sure why it's PNG when I said JPEG, but same kind of thing. So now all I need to do is get that graphic into whatever I want to share it on, whether that's a PowerPoint or a Word document. Um, so in um, preview, what I can do is, is copy that. So I copy the whole um, picture there and paste it. Um, because it's already saved it into my downloads, I could just insert that graphic file as long as I know the name here when I'm in my Word or PowerPoint document, I can insert that as a graphic file. And that's it. hope that's helpful.